Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning. Hi Smurfs, how are you? <laughs> hello, hello. Oh, that's so sweet of you. What are you cooking for dinner? I love that I get to be a part of that. <laughs> Hi doll, hi Jose, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Hi Catherine, how are you? Hi Anna, oh, thank you for your kind words, I appreciate it. Hi Ginger, good evening. Hi Dana, I'm doing okay, how are you? Hi Ron, thank you Ginger, I appreciate it. Hi Christine, I've got so many things to share with you guys. <laughs> Hi Melissa, how are you? So many things that I wanna share. I know we're just getting everybody into the room here. Let's shake and mic, oh, everything, everything. Hi Carrie, hi Deb. How are things in Australia? Thank you, I wish you a wonderful week too. Weekend was interesting. It was interesting, Jose, I'll tell you guys about it. <laughs> oh, tomatoes, peach burrata salad, sounds good. <laughs> hi Chuck, hi Sayonara, how are you? Hi Debbie, hi Roxy. Everything is shaking, Christine, always. Hi, Pauline. Oh, you know what? I feel better. Um, I'm still not at my best yet, but um, I don't know about any of you guys, but oh, it's a rainy morning. I did not feel well this weekend, so my apologies for not being live for a little while. Uh, days are getting longer and warmer where you are, and they're getting shorter here. <laughs> Hi, Ruth. Um, I don't know what's been in the air. I had a very sore throat actually uh friday saturday sunday today my throat is not so bad um but my head I, I i don't have a cold but i can tell you that i have head pressure um thank you carrie i was not feeling great there were moments where i was like whoa <laughs> on the weekend hi jen how are you hi sandy hi dora good afternoon um I was lucky that I got out yesterday and had a nice lunch and that actually perked me up. Um, I got some fresh air, but uh, it was, yeah, Jen just said, test yourself. I've had a couple of people ask me that. Um, oh, thanks, Carrie, my nails? Yeah, I got my nails done uh, the other day. Oh, thank you, thank you, Susan. Thanks, Mike. It's a rainy day today, Ron. Oh, thanks, Pauline. Oh, thanks, Steph, I appreciate it. Yeah, this was an odd one for me. Um, you had it before you left. Yeah, it was, that's true, you did, you're right. I had a very sore throat, but not a stuffy nose, just like this head pressure. And um, I had a terrible sleep. And you know, okay, TMI, TMI, why not share this with everybody and forever it to be on YouTube. Um, I knew it, I'll tell you when I knew it. I had this feeling before I went to bed on Thursday night. And you know those moments, hi Katie Louise, how are you? You know those moments where you, I don't know, the cat was wanting to lay on my feet. And I knew it was not a good idea to sleep on my back because when you sleep on your back, <laughs> you tend to snore, right? And I was being, you know, a softy towards karma who wanted to sleep on my feet. So I thought, okay, I'll lay like this and hopefully I don't snore, you know, and you know, your throat and everything. I had this feeling. And then when I woke up on Friday and I had a sore throat and I went, hmm, Hmm, you know, I started to feel the beginnings of it. I was like, oh, my throat was really dry. I felt really tired, um, but I had a good day. Like I had good sessions on Friday. I didn't really have a problem. Where I started to feel the problem was Saturday morning. And I should have known better in a way because I had filming to do on Saturday morning. Hi, Steph. You had a horrible week. I'm sorry to hear that. I had filming to do on Saturday, so I did some filming, um, and I had just, then by the afternoon, like when I was sort of like in a moment of just sitting down, I knew, I knew, and I felt it Thursday night before I went to bed, and it was, uh, it was something where I thought, well, maybe it's just the cold air because of air conditioning, maybe because I lit on my back, I don't know, and I just didn't feel well. Hi, Lara. <laughs> I'm better now, thank you, how are you? Um, do I get really hungry before I get sick? No, but I'll tell you what I have been experiencing. Thank you, Katie Louise. Hi, Becca. I'm better now, thank you. I'll tell you what I have noticed, and some other people have said the same thing to me, like regardless of feeling off. In the last little while, not even the last couple days, I would say like the last like week or so at least, 
I have found that like, I'm not satisfied by like food or drink. Like, I don't know how to explain that. Oh, you have purple nails too? Nice, nice. Like, I'm not enticed or satisfied by really any food. Like, water doesn't taste the same. And I don't mean I've lost taste. It's just nothing is, like, I can't quench my thirst. And there's no food that makes me feel, like, satiated. You know what I mean? Hi, Ikra. Um, and so I did have a great lunch yesterday and I like thoroughly enjoyed it. I went for Persian food because you guys know I love Turkish and Persian food right now. Um, I had a great meal. <laughs> um, <laughs> you two, you three. <laughs> Purple must be a thing. I love it. Um, no, I didn't have any hot Italian sausage. No, I didn't. I had eggplant, but I did have eggplant stew. <laughs> Persian eggplant stew. So, I mean, I did get some eggplant. Um, but uh, yeah, my favorite. Jose, did you ever end up having the Turkish food? I remember you said you were gonna go have some. Um, yeah, I can't get no, yeah, satisfaction. I just, I don't know what it is. You get it too, Kat? Nothing seems appealing or appetizing. Hi, Shin. Oh, perfect, perfect, I'm glad. Um, yeah, like nothing is appealing me. You did it, it was delicious. What'd you have, Jose? Now you're gonna, <laughs> did you have the kebab? Because <laughs> that's good. It's good, the Adana kebab. Mm. Thank you, Alex, I appreciate it. Um, but anyways, I, I don't feel like overly hungry. Like I'm just, I don't know, nothing really. Yeah, you had the Adana kebab, good choice, good choice. My uh, recommendation next time, Jose, is to have an Iskander kebab, which is like pita bread with like shaved meat with tomato sauce and some like yogurt. It's amazing. Hi, Diane. You've been like that for a while, so when you're actually craving something, you have it. Yeah, nothing is really like floating my boat these days. I, I don't know what it is. Now, like I said, I had a great meal yesterday. I thoroughly enjoyed it. But beyond that, nothing is really satisfying. So I don't think I'm the only one in that energy. Um, I know that there is another issue that people are having. Um, oh, ha Jose, trust me, you, you will enjoy it. It's so good. It's like, I think that's my go-to. The Adana kebab is like the standard, but then the Iskander kebab, yummy. I could eat that all the time. Um, the other thing that people, oh, your ear's been ringing a lot, Dora. Okay, interesting. Another thing that's been coming up is sleep issues. Hi, Kara, sleep issues. How many of you can't sleep? You're sleeping, but you can't sleep. I know that sounds backwards. Your eyes are closed, you're sleeping, but you're not in a deep, you're not in a deep sleep. Yeah, no enthusiasm for eating. There you go, Friday night dinner, <laughs> perfect. What's the kebab I like? Oh, a, a Turkish food, Adana kebab. Or if you're gonna have Persian food, I would say Kubi Day, same idea, really. Yeah, for several days now, sleep, sleep, sleep is a problem. Sleeping, but not deep sleep, yes. Unusual achy feeling, yeah. If you're feeling achy in your neck maybe, or you know, shoulders, can't sleep. You've been sleeping but not feeling rested. And that's exactly how I feel too. And I'm a good sleeper. So when I'm not sleeping well, I know there's something wrong. Yeah, both the eating and sleeping. I'm still tired after hours of rest. That was your weekend, sleep problems. Happy Monday. <laughs> how are you, my friend? Oh, thanks, care of my nails. Yeah, I just got them done. Sleeping but not sleeping. Micro sleeping, yeah, it's not good. It doesn't seem like it's enough. Tired all the time, yep. And on top of that, um, oh, thanks, Diane. And on top of that, um, very vivid dreams, weird dreams. Hi, James. Like I kept having such weird dreams. Like stupid, like stupid dreams. Like nothing of significance, really. Like I had this dream, don't ask me where this came from. I secretly... I secretly bought a different car, but I couldn't afford it. And then and then I wanted to return the car, like something stupid, like dumb. I will, something stupid like that. Or I'm at like, I'm at like a, like a, like a, like an amusement park and I see people I know. And then I ended up grabbing something by accident that I had to go return. And like, I was like trying to make my way, navigate through all this, stuff and it was like stupid dreams stupid stupid dreams stupid dreams my birthday is one month away yes september 12th mm -hmm. becca's birthday too <laughs> i do you know that i have two people that i speak to that have the same birthday as i do which has never been the case in my life 
You remembered your dream last night that was very unusual for you. Yeah, cat, very vivid dreams. Oh, thanks, Ikra. I appreciate it. Hi, Corios. Yeah, your dreams didn't make sense. Mine don't either. I don't know why I'm out buying a car that I can't afford and I got to return it, but like it's a secret and I'm trying, I'm like, I don't, what, am I, what am I dreaming about? I have no clue. You feel dehydrated? Yes. Your birthday's on the 14th of this month? That, so your birthday's in two days. Happy birthday. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just like, I don't even know. I don't even have words. Like, you know me, I love to see you guys on the weekend, even like one day out of the weekend. Like I couldn't even, I didn't even have the energy. Even today before I got on, I was like, how do I feel? Because I have had a bit of a busy day. I've been doing a few things here and there and I'm just like, can I even, like my head. But at the same time, I like I forget about it. I start talking and I forget, you know. <laughs> my nails are so gta <laughs> hold on a second Acre. i live in the greater toronto area which is gta but uh i mean i don't think i'm in a grand theft auto video game <laughs> 60 on the 27th wow happy early birthday maria but yeah you're in durham you're not far you had a dream that you were on a first date and she went to the bathroom. She didn't leave, but she did her order and eating from the bathroom. You woke up. <laughs> That's funny, Mike. Oh, thanks, Dana. I don't even know what this color was called. I don't even know now. Lavender Profit? D&D? Uh, &D? I think it's called Lavender Profit, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm wearing a black shirt, which I am in every live that I think I'm in, other than like maybe one. A different top. I feel, I feel like I wear the same. Although this one is three quarter sleeve. So at least there is some variation in my black tops. Do you know what makes me laugh about my family? Like my mother, my sister, and my niece and I is that no doubt whenever we see each other, I don't know if you do this with your families, um, you know, without planning, we'll all show up in a black top and black pants or black leggings. Oh, thank you, Kimmy. You're very kind. I appreciate that. Yeah, Ferrari red, that's, Becca, that's the color that I wanted, but they didn't have Ferrari red. I almost have to buy it myself and bring it there. I love Ferrari red. But anyways, I laugh. We all, we all show up and we're wearing like the, the typical, and like my mother, my sister, my niece and I, like we all look alike, right? Which is so funny. We all look, but here's the thing though, Jose. I know black is the way to go. I do agree. Kitties are sleeping. Kitties are sleeping, Dana. Hi, Ellie. But I laugh because, okay, I have the deck with me and we'll use it today. The uh, secret language of color cards. You know how I was, I reviewed these on YouTube. If, if you did see the video, I did a little mini reading with them and I think they're really beautiful cards. And they kind of talk about like color theory, right? The only problem is, is that I learned this in a Feng Shui class that I took. Hi, Mish, how are you? Um, that wearing a black top is not the greatest for energy. Like you can wear black pants. Hi, Peter. I'm better now. Thank you. How are you? I wasn't feeling well for a few days. Wearing black tops are not the greatest for your own energy. And I know, I just said 90% of wardrobe is black. I'm okay, Mish. Oh, I know you've gone through a tough time. I send you love. But, uh, but I can't help it. I like to wear all black. It, it's kind of one of those things with like a pop of color, whether that's like sneakers or nails or makeup or whatever. Um, but yeah, give me your word of the day, everybody. How are you feeling? Let's get into the cards. Like I said, I can't stay on super, super long. I need to uh, rest a little bit tonight, maybe take a salt bath and try to get rid of this, this thing that I've got going on. Excited, grateful. <laughs> Mike, you're funny. You feel meh? Yeah, I hear you. Like right now I feel thirsty. And you know what? Like I just would love some like juice. I don't even have juice in my house. Like I don't even have electrolytes. Jen and I always talk about electrolytes. Like I just ordered some. They're not even going to be here till like tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Like I'm so thirsty right now. And like water just won't do it. I know it won't. Hopeful, unsettled dehydrated <laughs> who's been in my driveway <laughs> miss you're funny yeah i ordered from iherb yeah it's so much cheaper there i bought two jen i bought the grape and i bought the uh lemonade 
They didn't have pink lemonade, but they had lemonade. Yeah, I can make a pot of tea, but the, but you know what the thing is? Honestly, I'm not a fan of tea. Like I, I drink it. I don't mind it. I shouldn't say when I was younger, I never liked tea. Now that I'm older, yeah, I don't mind it, but I wouldn't say it like excites me. <laughs> Whiskey? I don't have any. I wish I, I wish I had some. I don't have any. You know. Hi, Emma. <laughs> oh. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll order something tonight. I don't know. I don't know. You've had headaches and foggy brain. A lot of people have told me that they've got foggy brain. Fireball? <laughs> yeah. Your confusions, yeah, and good flavors. Yeah, it doesn't do it for you either. I mean, do I believe in what you give out is what you receive? In a lot of ways, yes, Allie, I do. Drive to McDonald's for a $1 drink. Are they $1 right now? Oh yeah, because it's summer. But you know what, Kara, I can't even get in the car. Like, this is gonna sound stupid. I literally cannot even get in the car right now. <laughs> Legit. I know I sound like I'm, a, like I'm a princess here. Like I just cannot even... Oh, crown apple. I haven't had crown apple in a long time. Tiramisu and a nice cappuccino. I could use that too, Mike. I could use that too. Yesterday, I had a, oh, what was it? A Persian ice cream, but it wasn't saffron ice cream, although I love saffron ice cream. It was um, vanilla ice cream, like blended with milk and a banana with pistachios. A little bit of chocolate drizzled with co like shredded coconut. Oh, and sesame seeds. Oh, it was so good. Hi, Cindy. And it was so good. Yeah, it was so... Oh, and it had pineapple. And it had pineapple. I don't know what the place is called, Kara, to be honest with you. I don't even remember. All I know is that it was this random place that I came across and I was like, I'm going to try this. I, I don't even know the name of it. I've never been there before. Hi, Lucia. I'm well, thank you. How are you? You're ready for another reading? Perfect. Uh, your wiped out drain today. Yeah, salt bath will, will help. Anticipation is the word. Well, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what the end is. And I've got the, um, the animal uh, tarot deck here. Oh, there's one that's turned over. What's turned over here? <laughs> I hear you, Mish. I hear you. Let's see. Let's see what's going on in the energy. Yeah, we're doing a collective reading. I did put the full moon Zoom up on my website. Uh, many of you have already signed up. We're doing the full moon Zoom on Friday night. So Friday night, 6 p.m., $22. Includes the Zoom and includes a little mini reading for you sent by the next new moon. I put up a reading about green eyes and someone going through divorce, soul connection. You're in no contact with them. Hopefully it will turn out okay. I mean, everything will always turn out okay. It's about, it, it, believe that it will, and it will. Everything has a way of working out. Yeah, this live will be on YouTube. It will. Mm-hmm. Yes. You just had dinner. Nice. Good to see you too, Lucia. So let's see what's the current energy today. Night of, who's got, does anybody have some passion in the pants today? I'm kind of glad to hear that. I'm kind of glad to hear that that's the energy. But um, the night of fire is, you're being tested. Oh, so many people are being tested, Mish. I'm not surprised. You're going out for your birthday Friday. Happy birthday. Extra Friday night Zoom. Yeah, exactly. We've got passion in the pants. Passion in the pants. <laughs> Send you some, Dora. <laughs> The Knight of Wands, um, passionate, charismatic, confident, and restless, you know? Hi, Garns, thank you. This says an opportunity arises. <laughs> it's arising. It's, 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 it's arising, isn't it? An opportunity arises that needs your attention right, it needs your attention right away. That opportunity that's arising really needs your attention right away. Now, don't hesitate. Hi, Ronnie, don't hesitate. Moving quickly is important. Well, moving quickly is important, yet there's nothing you can't handle. Poof. Wow, there's nothing you can't handle. I mean, look at the card we're starting off with today. There's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow, wow. 
pardon me over here. You definitely have pip today? You've got some pip? All right, let's see. Let's see what else. Let's use the uh, the color cards. Hi, Veronica. Veronica, I just said passion in the pants. There's, there's an opportunity that's arisen and needs attention currently. Veronica, are you up for the challenge? <laughs> Spicy Mondays, exactly. Hi, Libby. <laughs> Veronica, I'm so happy to see you. So happy to see you. The cards are picking up your dreams. Perfect. Okay, well, let's see what color we have here. Amber. Oh. <laughs> Awaken your create. <laughs> There's an opportunity that's arisen. And I want you to be very creative with it, okay? I want you to be very creative with how you handle the situation and the opportunity. So, um, you know, awaken your creativity. By the way, it's a number 15 card. It's equal giving and receiving in balance. Okay, I just want you to remember that. I don't want you to forget that aspect, okay? Equal giving and receiving and balance. Now, here's an interesting point. These colors on this card are actually very similar. Um, in person, they look a smidge different. They look more, this looks more red here, but in person, they're actually very similar. So funny how they're both kind of that amber color. <laughs> Let's see what else. Let's see what else we need to know. I got another deck here. Oh, this one's tricky. Whenever I shuffle this one, it's 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 gonna say well, it gets sticky. The the cards somehow stick together. There's no reason. It's they're brand new. Earth and ground. You know. Be careful you don't get too excited with this opportunity, you know. Make sure that you are a little grounded too. You don't want to get, you know, all caught up in the heat, you know. <laughs> a little bit, Mish. A little bit. A little bit. Just, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> let's see what the potential or challenge is here. Yes, happy early birthday, Roseanne. That's exciting. Six of fire, we're getting more fire. So six of wands, we're getting a uh, victory. This is a rescue dog energy. You may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship or find that you're, you're singled out for special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. You've done an amazing job with this opportunity. I just wanna let you know. You were very creative, highly attentive. You paid attention to detail and you certainly put your all into this opportunity that has arisen. So I just want to make sure that you are recognized for a job well done. <laughs> That's the potential or the challenge. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what else. <laughs> Let's see what else we need to know. Oh, two cards. Oh, look at these abs, by the way. Look at these, look at these abs. The bronze, the bronze energy. Strengthen your body. Funny that came out in black. Okay. Find richness from the dark night. Well, I mean, look, there's there's always with dark, there's light. <laughs> you can do it, put your back into it. <laughs> Absolutely. Um so this says strengthen your body, strengthen yourself despite any darkness or any difficult. Uh, <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. I know, in your mind, Dora, it's getting spicy, right? It's getting hot in here. <laughs> Cue the music. Um, Mike said he didn't give permission to use his, his image. <laughs> Christine just said, if you could see the image in my mind. If you could read my mind. <laughs> uh, of a dark night. Redmond got an image of a dark night. This kind of gives me gladiator vibes, you know? Like, remember like the fields and like, I don't know, like, I don't know. Ooh, Mike, do share, says Dora. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. <laughs> well, well, well. All right, I got, I got, I got chills. They're multiplying. I'm losing control. <laughs> Thank you, Frankie girl. Oh, geez. Let's see. Okay. Compassion. Compassion. Yeah, Game of Thrones vibes. Yes, that too. Thank you, Frankie girl. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, <laughs> Katie's singing the rest of the song. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Um, hi, Hanalee, how are you? Oh, that's okay, Hanalee, it'll be on YouTube. <laughs> it'll be on YouTube, uh-oh. Um, have some compassion for the pip, yes. But let me tell you actually something on a serious bit of side note, and that is, oh, sorry, my hair is all over the place. Um, you know, anyways, uh, compassion. One of the things that has kind of come up in the cards recently is about compassion for others. You know, sometimes, you know, not knowing what other people are going through. And I'm not saying excuse bad behavior. Don't ever excuse anybody's bad behavior. But my point is, is that having compassion for others and having compassion for yourself is super, super important. You know, because I think that there's been a lot of anger going around lately, a lot of tension. People are just very touchy you know, and not in a good way, like as in they're taking everything personally and, and feeling kind of angry, projecting, you know? Yeah, it's very important, absolutely. Yeah, Mercury retrograde. I think people are very triggered lately, you know? And I, and I this is the thing, when people are triggered, I don't entertain it. I don't even go there, I don't let it bother me. I just let people do their thing, but show compassion at the same time. Hi, Busy Lizzie, how are you? So let's see, what should we focus on today? We need to keep an open mind, you got it. We're getting all fire today. Hold on a second, where is the moon currently? Am I right to say that the moon this weekend was uh, in Scorpio? Why did I not think about that? Does anybody know? Let's check. Let's check. Oh, it is. The moon's, there you go. The moon's in Scorpio. That explains a lot. <laughs> that explains a lot. Uh, yeah, we're a week away from the full moon, right? Yeah, full moon's next Monday. And like I said, we're doing the full moon zoom on Friday night uh, leading into the weekend. So here's the pelican, <laughs> two of fire. Your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. You were very dedicated to this opportunity, by the way. Uh, in fact, it may be in your best interest to get a partner to assist in your <laughs> endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. You might want to invite multiple people. Wow. Wow. Really now? Oh, karma. Did you hear karma in the background? Hi, Karma. Hi, baby. You want to come say hi to everybody? You going to show your... Don't show your bum. Don't show your bum like Gretchen used to. And I can't read the comments, kittens. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't read the comments. Karma agreed. Karma agreed. I said Dark Knight dark, as in Batman. Yeah, there were dolphins on the first card, synchronicities. <laughs> she agrees. She agrees. Yeah, Carmetchen. Oh, I'm sorry, Chappie, I'm sorry. Hi, Melissa. Karma's my little baby. She's my little baby. Sorry, I got distracted by her. Um, but, uh, hi, Linda. But the pelican is to a fire, which is basically telling us to, ooh, I was gonna say Gretchen, as Karma jumped off the table and shook it. Um, the uh, the two of fires with leaving your comfort zone, you know? Yeah, I know you're strong. I know you're strong. Karma's eyes, I told you, she has these eyes that are kind of like a WTF look. That's her face. That's her face, like, all the time. Like, it's, it's the, it's, yeah, it's Gretchen 2.0, Linda. She is, 100%. And she's getting sweeter and sweeter, like, every day, which is really funny to watch her. She's still a little bugger, but... Hi, Tyler. How are you, my friend? Let's see what else we have here. Indigo, improve your vision. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. We had that card, I think, in any reading that I've done, whether it was in the Oracle Deck Review, whether it was, like, in the um, in the weekly... Um, yeah, half karma, half Gretchen. I know. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, they, she just knocked over something. Thank you, Tyler. They match the emoji. Yeah, they're like a, they're like the perfect purple heart emoji color is what it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like the exactly and the nail emojis. You're right. 
It's the exact color it feels like. <laughs> I love purple. Purple's one of my favorite colors. I don't know what this cat's doing up here, but she's doing something. Let's see. Blessings in abundance. Everything's good. Everything's good. Believe in your blessings. Believe in good things happening. That's your favorite color too, Lucia? Nice. Okay, so let's see what is the recent past. All fire cards. Every Karma. Karma, get out of there. Sorry, pardon me. It's like I have a child over here. Um, look at this beautiful crown. Page of fire. We have all fire cards today, which is so surprising. Uh, monarch butterfly. Creative opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering. You're fluttering. You're fluttering. Personal growth and broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. Okay, Lucia. Talk soon. Well, okay. Be energetic, outgoing, optimistic, creative. Throw caution to the wind. Enjoy life. Hi, Trish. Oh, Ruby. Ruby Red. Who's fluttering? What's fluttering, Mish? I don't know. I don't know. Thank you, Louise. Butterflies transformation. You've been seeing dragonflies everywhere? Um, Tyla, dragonflies are about lightness of being, um, and they're about being in the present moment. You know? So the ruby energy is about rejuvenating your body. Strengthen your body, rejuvenate your body. Remember that old song, Move This? <laughs> oh gosh, that really takes me, takes me back. Okay, Karma, come on, come here. Come on, kittens. She's coming. There she is, there's the tail. <laughs> <laughs> she's gonna lay behind me now now that she had her moment right kitten yeah <laughs> you might flutter when you manifest mish that's possible yeah she's cute tyler she's cute hi sierra yeah red is root chakra absolutely clear cancel and release yeah yeah, exactly. Um, we've got to clear the energy, cancel things that no longer serve us, and uh, release. Remember we used to say when we've, hi, Henry. I know it was a few days that I haven't been on live because I wasn't feeling well. Do you remember we used to say, for those of you that have the emojis, the, 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 the Kelly Lorraine emojis on TikTok, we said pas de baguette. En français, pas de baguette. We said no, no baguettes. We don't want breadcrumbs. We don't want breadcrumbs. So we had the emoji where it was like where the knives were cutting the bread, the baguettes. And we were like, no baguettes. We, no, no breadcrumbs. No, pas de baguette. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want any of that. Remember? <laughs> no. No. No breadcrumbs. <laughs> Remember we, we used to have that? That's funny. Hi, Donna. We don't want the breadcrumbs. We want the, we we want uh, we want a whole loaf. Hi Gina, I'm well, thank you. How are you? Okay, so the strength position. Oh, look at the little raccoon family. <laughs> um, it could be like the two of swords in theory. It's a um, it's an oracle card, but yeah, it could be. So the renewal card is the judgment card. It's transfer. I like how they make the raccoons look so cute. I mean, don't get me wrong. You know, the, the <laughs> raccoons are cute. You just got to be careful with them. You know, yeah, I'm the meal. I, that's right. That's right. The whole buffet, Veronica. The whole buffet. But um, it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most divinely suited to you. Forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's new to come right let it go let it go let go of the things that no longer serve you oh thanks Steph. it does match yeah oh two cards plum and burgundy oh there you go the plum is about overcoming your challenges and burgundy is awaken your passion i think it's already been awakened but maybe for some of you it'll be a glass of wine i don't know um, <laughs> I know Susan and like they're cute, but they are, oh, 
raccoons, I I feel for them sometimes, but man, they can they can be vicious too, you know. They're cute until they rip your face off, and that, that that's the thing that scares me about them, you know. <laughs> but burgundy and plum, awaken your passion and overcome your challenges. So. Oh, this card here. Power and intention. Well, you have to ask yourself right now, what are your intentions? How do you overcome? Oh, you're having a glass of wine now? Nice, nice. Um, what are your intentions right now to awaken that passion or to overcome the obstacles, right? What's the motivation? The near future is the three of water. And three of water, look at these hummingbirds. Now, hummingbirds are about enjoying the present moment. You know, it's a, it's a lovely, lovely energy. Oh, I'm so glad, Roseanne. I'm so glad. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. So that is a nice card of celebration. We definitely want that. Let's see what we need to know about that. Hi, Lee. How are you? Pink. Let love in. Let love in. Celebrate. Let love in. <coughs> Tulips. Beautiful. Let's see what else we need to know. Oh, wow. Busy. Congratulations. Tarot is accurate for you lately. I mean, tarot reads energy, right? Tarot is not here to tell us our future necessarily. They're, they're here to tell you the energy. And signs and reminders. So some of you may be getting some signs. I'm kind of wondering what that... I, I'm not going to lie. At first glance, I did question what this is. And maybe some of you may have as well. Because I know all of you. But I'm just saying. Um, oh, I'm the prize. I'm the snack. I don't chase. I only attract. Is that what you're saying, Mish? Um, this is a... <laughs> this is a feather. <laughs> In case anybody, in case, yeah, it's a feather. It's a feather, Libby. I'm not going to lie. I When I first looked at it, I had to think a little bit. You know, we've had this issue with the rose card in the other deck. We've talked about, we've had a few moments in where we question what, what's in the picture. Um, well, you, it's true, Steph. It's true. You found a, a huge feather from a hawk today. Nice. Nice. But I did do a reading um, that came out yesterday about a feather and a past loved one that was very creative and that possibly had a secret or a secret life that you found out afterwards, after they passed, which was kind of interesting. I'm not saying this is connected to that, but, um, you know, feathers are signs from past loved ones. And this does say signs and reminders. So in the near future, you might get some. You miss being a graphic artist now, Mike, throwing in little nuggets for everybody right? But the butterflies are all about the transformation. You're surrounded by signs and reminders at your, at your location. Nice. Yeah, no, it is a beautiful card. It is definitely a beautiful card. I'm just saying at a quick glance, <laughs> at a quick glance, it kind of gave me a, gave me a thought, you know. Um, let's see what the suggested approach is. Let's see. Polar bear energy. That is the hierophant. You've had a you've had a load of feathers recently. Yeah, they're they're signs from people who've passed. You're having a lot of signs and synchronicities. I think a lot of people are too. Salut, ça va bien? Um, Pauline, about deer. Deer have like a, a, an aura of like innocence to them. You know. But I would look it up. I would look at spiritual meaning of deer. The, um, the polar bear, how cute. Unity, this is the hierophant. Embrace this time of deep spiritual growth. Spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Compare traditional methods with new ideas. This is implementation. Yeah, I know the polar bear is so cute. I agree. I agree. Okay, let's see what we need to know about this polar bear. Yeah, Bambi. Oh my God, that movie was so traumatizing for me when I was young. I think it was for many people. Oh, cyan, cyan blue. Um, build your confidence. Love it. Build your confidence. Hi, Katie. So spiritual ascension, you're building something, right? Love it. So let's see what else we need to know. 
you were watching horror movies at that age. I've never been into horror movies. I've never been into horror movies. But I know people who do. I know, I know people who like it. Yeah, deers do like to watch and observe. Yes. They have very good, um, very good senses, right? See, I can't get the card. See? It's like, I don't want to say it's stuck, but uh, healing energy. By the way, blue is the throat chakra, healing the throat chakra. And that's something that I've been feeling lately. My throat has been really bothered. Um, it was very sore. Oh, thanks, Jose. Um, it was very sore on the weekend. And I just was like, where is this coming from? It almost made me worried that um, that maybe that, you know, how I get strep every year. I thought I had that little, little scare. And I was like, oh, gosh, I hope I don't get it. So, so far, it's been okay. The Lion King was traumatic for you. Yeah, it was for me, too. I don't know, Katie. You'd have to look that up. I don't see why it would be a bad sign. I don't think anything has a bad sign. What do I think about people having bad dreams? It depends here on the dream and what it's about. Thank you, Jose. Yeah, communication during Mercury retrograde, no thanks. Yeah, I mean, but the thing is that there's this need. Sorry, my hair is old. I feel like my hair is flipping kind of like the, like the, speaking of, I, so I wasn't talking about with you guys. I feel like as if you were part of the conversation earlier today. I was actually talking about Christmas. Um, earlier today, I was filming something uh, for somebody and I was in it and a Christmas card came up and I was like, isn't it weird how I was going to say, you know who I feel like I look like when I have the little flip, like the little, like the little boy, what's his name? And that wants to be the dentist the, and the abominable snowman, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Why couldn't I think of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Anyways, my little flip, you know, um, but isn't it weird how we feel like we're in this hangman energy of like, uh, being in limbo where we're not really in the summer it feels like but we're not really in the fall and we're kind of like edging our way there yeah Herbie <laughs> you've had an achy neck I have an achy neck too trouble sleeping that's what we were talking about earlier right yeah I know you, you don't think so you don't think so much I think that this is definitely put a little put the little hat on me come on if you could put the little hat on me from, from Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, that's what I would look like, I think. You know? Maybe I need to be that for Halloween or something. Hi, Lydia. Nice to see you, too. <laughs> oh, like, who knows? Who knows, right? <laughs> but I was, I was reminded that, like, you know, not, I know not everybody celebrates Christmas, but the idea that like, we're getting to the end of the year, like we're not like, remember when we were like setting intentions for 2024 and we were like, well, what's to come? We don't have enough data. Now we have data. Oh, you're so sweet, Veronica. You're very kind. Just like you. Well, you know, we're like, we're not in the beginnings of 2024. We're like in, we are 2024. Like we're now we're like, oh my gosh, like I got this to do. I got that to do. I got to like tie up the loose ends, you know? So that's kind of the vibe that I'm feeling right now. We're like on the brink. <laughs> it's like on the brink of some major change. You can feel it brewing. So what do we need to know right now? The magician, see, communication. You feel like a puzzle that's missing a piece, just feeling worn out. I feel you. I get it. I get it. Yeah, this year's flying by. Uh, the magician, communication, we just talked about it. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. You have all the tools. You just have to realize you have all the tools, right? And let's see. Hi, Sherry. Let's see what else. Now, some people say mauve. I would say mauve, but it depends on anyone's pronunciation. Um, is, you, oh, you asked it? like Jer Jeremy, like Jeremy, Nancy? Hi, Shell. Yeah, this purple is beautiful. This is probably one of my favorite purples as well. Um, enjoy, I can't even read that. Enjoy clear hearing. Time to listen to some things. You know, it does match my nails. Enjoy clear hearing. Somebody's gotta clean out their ears. Not with Q-tips though, be careful with Q-tips. Um, oh, Hermie, <laughs> it's funny. Okay. Let's see what else we need to know. Just keep swimming, Jackie. You got it. You got it. <laughs> Intuition and downloads. Are you hearing it? Maybe that's what it is. Enjoy clear hearing, like getting the downloads. 
Let's see. Okay. Hope and or fear. <laughs> Thank you, Carolyn. I appreciate it. Hope and or fear. Page of air. Page of swords. Hmm. Your ears be ringing. I know. Those are signs too. Those are signs too. Um, this is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of matching of a matching solution. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. Hmm. See, triggers. <coughs> Excuse me. Logical, truthful, curious, undiplomatic. If helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger. I have to repeat that because that's the energy right now. Oh, thanks, Mish. I love you too. You're beautiful too. <laughs> you're not making a video. Oh, you're making a video of me? Are you going to make this of me and then put the little hat on me and I'm going to dance around? My sister was actually very traumatized by that movie growing up. So it's a, it's a topic of conversation in my family. Miss, you're funny. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to see it. I love your work. My, my One of my favorite videos that you made, Mish, um, is the one... Oh, th thank you, Linda. Howdy. <laughs> the, the cowboy hat and the mustache. Um, aw, you're sweet, Rosanna. I love you, too. Um, one of the, fi the funny ones that Mish did was when she put me in WWE with the big screen behind. <laughs> That, oh, the banana one, yes, but I have to admit, the WWE one does really make me laugh. The 316. Thank you, Carolyn. Yeah, we can't take things personally, Kat. Like, I have a feeling that a lot of things are coming out very bluntly lately. I mean, I've had some pretty blunt conversations as of late, but granted, that's usual. That's usual for me. Um... <laughs> Let's see what else. Lavender. There we go. We're getting all this purple. Where can you watch the Mikra? Oh boy. Uh, Mish, I don't know. I, I mean, Mish has sent them to me. Um, lavender. Connect to body, mind, and soul. Number 44. Divinely guided, which is really beautiful. Very beautiful. And let's see what else we need to know here. Oh, thanks, Lydia. <laughs> You need to see those videos because they, I don't know. I mean, the one, the, re the, the wrestling one I, always makes me laugh. You know? It's me on the screen. Is it, Mish, what is it? It's me on the screen with The Rock. Is it The Rock giving the, uh, giving the look of, and it's, it's, it's like Kelly 316. You think I should share? If Mish, if Mish sends it to me again, I'll, sh I'll share it for, if, if you want me to share it. Okay, then I must have it, Mish. I'll, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll look for it. I'll look for it. I'm pretty sure it's in the messages. I, and I have it somewhere in my phone. It is pretty funny. Let's see. Honesty and... See? Honesty. Yeah, I have your permission. Okay, I'll look for it. I'll look for it. <laughs> Let's see. This is honesty and communication. And here's what we're talking about. Bluntness and communication so can't make that up there's been like three cards of communication in the the last few and the probable outcome is life experience <laughs> life experience okay so interesting that is the tower card it, it's kind of funny I, I i stumble upon saying it's cuckoo but like i, I I was very, it was very hard for me for whatever reason, no pun intended. It was very hard for me to look at this card and say it without thinking about it first. Not going to lie. I don't know how many of you would be in the same boat. But anyways, uh, the card is life experience. It's, 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 it's the tower card. It says important changes are coming into your life that will require you to take action. Don't hesitate to move in new directions that you know are right for you. Yeah, you wish for honest communication. And I think most people do. I think most people do. But I do think that a lot of people do get triggered by the truth, right? 
And that's tricky. That's tricky. Let's see what we need to know about this uh, cuckoo uh, energy. Oh, two cards. Jade and cher oh, cherries. Well, well, well. Take action. Live an extraordinary life. <laughs> Your eyebrows haven't gone this high since the Botox, since before the Botox. <laughs> You're funny. Um, I, I mean, I love anything cherry, like cherry cheese. If I had to choose between like strawberry, if you know this about me, like I like strawberries, but like strawberry cheesecake and like cherry cheesecake, I will always be like the, the cherry cheesecake. Um, oh, you get it now, Veronica, is that, did it just, did it just click? <laughs> um, you're funny. You make me laugh. Um, there's the, like I said, take action and, uh, live an extraordinary life. There you go. The tower moment will, will make us all want to enjoy, enjoy our new life. Yeah. Let's see what else. Oh, see, it's stuck. I told you these cards. I don't like these. I don't like these. Oh. You like the sound effect? <laughs> I do love some plump blue bears. I like blue. Be oh, see, see blue. Sorry. The, now that now the sun is starting to come through here. Um, angelic protection. Angelic protection. Oh, thanks, Steph. Have a wonderful night. It's stuck. I know. I don't, and these cards are brand new. They were just open. Like I've never really opened the deck before. It was a card deck that I that I bought a while ago. Um, you wouldn't believe how many decks I have to review, like a million decks. I uh, I've got ones I want to open them so badly and use them, but I don't want to use them until I till I've reviewed them. But uh, there you go, angelic protection, blue, throat chakra. I wasn't doing anything with them, Diane. I swear they're brand new. They're they're literally like brand new. They're not even like. You soak cherries in bourbon for a couple weeks and then dip them in chocolate. Oh my goodness, Chuck. I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine what those taste like. Yeah, these cards, these cards are quite odd. I, 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 honestly, I mean, I feel bad saying this. I don't, I, I don't really like the feel of the cards. Like I don't mind the messages, but I don't like the feel of them. They're a very odd, um, they're a very odd vibe. Just, just in sense of, in, in like sensory kind of feeling. Oh, the Alice in Wonderland. That does sound good, Emery. <laughs> these, these cards, they're big. They're a little hard to shuffle, but they're a beautiful deck. I kind of, Mish, I'm surprised you didn't, Mish, I'm surprised if you didn't see my Oracle review. Like there are certain things that I say in the reviews that I know sound funny if you go there. And I think of you like every time because I know your mind would go there, you know? I think I said I wanted to inspect the box or I wanted to, I don't even know what I said. And I just, I, sometimes I just want to laugh at myself, you know, because I know how it sounds, but like it's, it's, a, it's an honest, it's an honest conversation, you know? I think something that I said something like, oh, I want to get into the box or I want to inspect the box or I don't even remember what I said. But anyways, yeah, the sun is getting kind of strong here now, it's starting to set. Well, my friends, I gotta go. Sorry to be like dodging the, the sun here. Maybe if I go this way. Um, maybe someone blessed the cards before I got them. Oh gosh, Jenny, I hope not. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa, I appreciate it. I know I'll be better tomorrow. I just need to rest a little bit. Maybe take a salt bath, eat some good food. Thank you, Jose. I hope you have a great night too. <laughs> hi amanda you didn't hear anything not a word no 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 thank you jose you're so kind i really appreciate it thanks carolyn <laughs> i got you all hot and bothered uh oh uh oh uh oh bye amanda i know it's like hi and bye thanks chuck i appreciate it thanks trish thanks linda you guys are amazing i really appreciate it hugs and love to you too thanks linda thanks susan Good night, Chuck. I wish you guys all a wonderful rest of your night. I appreciate you too. Thanks, Sierra. Next time, absolutely. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks, Ronnie. Thanks, Ikra. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Kat. 
I'm glad. And I'll put this up on YouTube. If you guys want to want to watch it up there, you're welcome to. I'm so glad, Veronica. Thank you for being here. You're not really making a video. Are you sure, Mish? Are you sure? <laughs> it's all good. You don't it's, it's all good. You don't have to. I love you guys. Good night, Crystal. Thank you so much. I'm going to. I think I will, Jackie. Bye, Donna. Have a good night. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Hanalee. Oh, Shiggy, that's okay. I'm going to put it up on YouTube. As soon as I get off here, um, that didn't sound good. As soon as I get off here, Hermie, right? Yeah, Hermie. I'm going to, um, I know that's, not, see, Emery, I knew it. That sounded wrong. Uh, I'm going to download the live. Hopefully it, it all goes smoothly. Um, and then uh, it'll take some time to upload, but it will be up there tonight. Okay. And I appreciate you guys watching the videos, the Oracle review, um, the weekly. It, it, it really means the world to me. So thank you as always. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I know, Emery. I know it did. I know. I said, you know, sometimes I don't even think before I say something. You know, it just. Right. But, anyways, okay. I send you all so much love. All right, IG. I wish you guys a wonderful night. Thanks, Shell. Take care, everybody. <laughs> Bye, IG. All right, everybody on TikTok, have a wonderful rest of your night. Yeah, no, it's true, Ronnie. Honestly, there are times when I just don't think of it. I really don't until I say it. And then the moment I say it, I hear it, you know? My intentions are good. My intentions are good. Good night, Carolyn. Thank you. Bye, Veronica. I'll give Jameson hugs for you. He's, uh, I don't know where he is. He's sleeping. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care and have a good night. Bye. Bye, guys.